Good evening. How are you? So it takes just one more vote. Uh, what is holding you back in particular? You know, I, I think it's a, a clearly important. I mean, you, you talked a little bit about this issue and, and uh, you know, the amount of anger and hate that has bombed both sides, both on the extreme left and the extreme right. And uh, we're not talking about passage of civil unions, which I think would, would pass uh, right away and, and very easily. We have a governor who's pushing to get full marriage equality. And to that extent, there need to be real religious protections in, in any final piece of legislation. I've been uh, fighting for that for a couple of weeks now. The governor at first had a knee-jerk reaction against it. But I believe that uh, we will finally see some, some real religious protections let's in, talk about, in let's, any final bill. Senator, let's talk about those, those religious protections. The concern among other uh, Republicans as well is that this could somehow come back to hurt a religious organization who, say, wouldn't uh, perform a, a same-sex uh, marriage and then would be, would be sued. Or, for example, for a religious group that would want to or address ab adoptions, that, that they could somehow get tied up in this. How, how are those being addressed to you, those concerns that this could hurt religious groups? You know, well, first it's got to be laid out that we have seen this happen uh, in other states uh, that, that have done this. So we're not talking uh, in some fairyland. We're talking about something very real, and we don't want to see this play itself out uh, in, in New York State. And uh, there are three basic categories, uh, just very quickly. Religious institutions themselves. Uh, in this bill, uh, there's a language uh, to religious corporations. Uh, but the actual individuals who conduct uh, those marriages, those ceremonies, uh, are not necessarily protected within the language of the bill of the religious institutions. Then you have religious organizations. Uh, Knights of Columbus is, is an example. And whether or not they would be uh, open up to lawsuits, uh, have their uh, not-for-profit uh, tax exempt status uh, challenged, or whether from a regulatory perspective their permits could actually be pulled. Those protections have not been fully laid out within the context of the bill that came out last week. And that's why I said if that bill uh, sat, I would most certainly be an absolute no. And you know, the toughest one uh, comes to religious protections for individuals who have religious objections and that's the toughest needle to thread but I believe the governor needs to at least pay respect uh, to, to that side so, of the argument as so well. So here so you're on the fence um, there's there's a there's a half a dozen who are on the fence here if you got if, if you got all of the protections that you say you need there then in theory you support gay marriage in New York. You know what I would say and I look at it from a different angle uh, without those religious protections I would be an absolute no, and the other senators, I, I can't speak for them, but I can tell you that, that uh, uh, you know, without the religious protections, from my personal perspective, I don't see how the governor gets it done. And, uh, you know, I, I've spoken to the governor personally on this. His staff has come back and, and uh, at least initially said, you know, those religious protections aren't, aren't as important as you think. You know, th this governor has to understand, I mean, you have even uh, the spokesperson but, you know, for, either for you the support, president of the United States. Either you support same-sex marriage or you don't, and the rest of that then becomes politics and it becomes dotting the I's and crossing the T's and making sure that all of the stakeholders no, get you, everything you, that wait, they wait, want, wait. right? I mean, dotting do you... Dotting, dotting, dotting the I's and crossing the T's is exactly what we're supposed to be doing right. as responsible legislators. And, and you'll remember the whole read the bill uh, that came out at every Tea Party rally right. across America. It's kind of important. So for you to You're, ask me you am wanna, I going to support well, a bill that sure the governor that, hasn't even released yet. Right. You want to make sure there's no unintended consequences. And, and that's pretty clear here. You want to make sure that this is going to be there, a clean just, bill. Just, but if it's clean and, there are no, and, you're, and, and you're sure that but, there are going to be no unintended consequences, then you support gay marriage in New York. But just so you understand, just like uh, there are those on the right who don't necessarily appreciate those on the left who view it as a civil rights issue, right. there are those on the left who are pushing this bill and advising the governor who do not uh, who do not really pay, really pay respect to the fact that there are those on the right who view it as a front to their firmly held religious beliefs. Right. And I believe that this governor is in a position where I, he's pushing from the left, but he needs to pay attention to those uh, in the middle you know, with common sense. And that's all that those religious pr protections uh, would do. And as, like I said, I, I, I think that there are other senators who, who feel that uh, those religious protections are, are extremely important. What are your constituents